Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, quick hitter edition. We're going to go out to New York. A um, couple recent deaths of some major mafia figures in the five families. First, uh, Joe DiNapoli, Joe D, consigliere of the uh, Lucchese's, former consigliere of the Lucchese's, died. He was 87 or 88. Uh, and then now, in the last 24 hours, word is uh, spreading that Jojo Corozo, a.k.a. Joe Miserable, um, major, major player in the Gambinos over the last 30, 40 years, has died. I believe he was 82. Um, at one time, he was, for all intents and purposes, he was the boss. Whether or not he had that title or not, he was he was the final say. Um, him and his brother, Nicky Carozo, little Nicky, um, were at the very forefront of the crime family um, from the early 90s until the early 2010s. Um, they were an extension of the Gotti faction. And it's interesting that they, at first, as young men, the Carozos, the Carozo brothers and the Gotti brothers didn't get along. Um, but uh, they were able to man, mend fences as both uh, sets of siblings ascended. Um, John Gotti took control of that crime family, and the Carozo brothers became major cogs in in his uh, his leadership wheel, uh, both from uh, Brooklyn as well as out in Florida. Um, Jojo did. Um, some prison, uh, I did about, I think he did about eight years of, of prison time um, and got out uh, at some point in the, in the 2010s. It's been semi-retired, retired over, over the last handful of years. What I kind of want to talk about more so than Jojo Corozo's legacy, which is formidable, and maybe be maybe will be fodder for for future podcasts. But I think the timing of this is very fortuitous for the Truchios. Um, Ronnie One Arm Truchio walked out of prison early last week. Uh, Seventy three years old, a protege of um, of the Carozo brothers, and uh, he was looking at life eventually got his his sentence reduced and then a compassionate release came out after 21 years and everybody was wondering with ronnie one arm coming out what did that mean for ronnie one arm's son alphonse truccio who had succeeded his father allegedly as a capo regime had taken over the truccio crew um in the uh, uh 2000s as a as a young guy i think he was in his early early 30s um, and then in 2011, his crew, as well as the Carozo brothers, went down in a big case. And there was an altercation between Jojo Carozo and Alphonse Truccio at a meeting related to defense strategy. And the end result, whatever happened in that altercation, and I've heard 20 different stories, um, one of them being that Alphonse made contact in some way with Jojo Corozo. People had to get between them. They were arguing over uh, narcotics trafficking that Alphonse Truccio was uh, saying he had nothing to do with. And uh, something along the lines of the, you know, the Corozo saying, so you're saying you're on your own now, basically like you're not a part of us. Truccio felt like he was keeping his proverbial nose clean, his crew's nose clean, or his his, perv his proverbial nose clean, and the um, you know kind of his crew in general being able to to stay away from narcotics trafficking because of other defendants in the case. He felt like he was being impugned, and and it turned into a thing where he was ultimately shelved. A lot of people were wondering with Ronnie One Arm coming back. I know Ronnie One Arm is very sick. 
we don't know if he's going to return to active duty or not. Another thing I've heard 10 million different things about. Some people are saying he'll be under boss soon. And other people are saying he'll be dead soon. Um, so that's probably somewhere, you know, in the middle. But it looks like now that Jojo Corozo is dead, whether Alphonse Truccio is back already, um, which is possible. Um, I know he has a restaurant right now that he's running in Long Island. Um, it looks like the wheels are greased now if he's not back to possibly come back. Um, we're, we reported here that uh, uh, Mike Roccaforti took over that crew. Originally, the crew went from the Truchos to Tommy Monk Sassano to Roccaforti, who was best friends with Alphonse Truccio. Um, we we're told that there was some type of issue between them. Um, might ha it could already be sorted out. Um, we've also reported that um, that issue, we don't know a ton about it other than it looked like at one time they were best friends and then they weren't. I've heard, again, uh, something where the, the rumor mill turns 24 seven that, that they were fine, that they weren't, that they're best friends again, that they're still enemies. Either way, it looks like the door has opened now. Alphonse Truccio is a really young guy. He's 47 years old. Um, so, I mean, I guess only time will tell. I and mean, we don't want to be out there putting Alphonse on blast if he's trying to go live his, his best life on the straight and narrow. We, we, we do not have any information that he's back, that he's active again. We're, we're kind of more talking about hypotheticals here. Um, but it's interesting that a week after Ronnie One Arm comes out of prison. Jojo Corozo dies. Nikki's still around, so he could, if there was still an issue, he could, you know, in theory, uh, block a, a Alphonse Truccio return if that was in the cards. But uh, the timing of it is just very interesting, and I wanted to come and chime in. Um, but Jojo Corozo dead at 82, one of the real hardcore true ogs of the new york mafia game these last 40 50 years he'll definitely be remembered his son is a excellent criminal defense attorney you know, not a, a mobster but defends a lot of mob guys and is known as a, a tactician in the courtroom and uh i'm sure there'll be a lot of people in in brooklyn and, and out in florida that are mourning the loss of the Corozo, uh, not the Corozo brothers, but Jojo Corozo, the youngest of the Corozo brothers. Um, we always tip our hats to the OGs. So he, he's gone, could be a new life for Alphonse Truccio. Ronnie One Arm was never, you know, Ronnie, Arm, Ronnie One Arm uh, came up under the Corozo. So um, I'm sure he was conflicted in, in, in some of the, in some of the, the tensions that had developed. But again, it's evolving. It's fluid. We'll be back reporting when we have some more information. Please like, share, and subscribe to OG Pod. Check out our companion web magazine, The Gangster Report. And uh, we're here 24-7, um, letting you know about all the breaking news when it comes to organized crime, the mafia, bikers, um, drug dealers, whatever it is, we're here uh, giving you inside knowledge og pod uncovering the underworld one city one region one country at a time i'm scott bernstein i'm out